Asante san. Thank you very much. Please uh, be seated. Thank you very, very, very much, uh, my friend, Honorable uh, Gladys Atieno Wanga, um, the governor of Homa Bay County. Uh, as you may know, Gladys is of my generation and uh, formerly student leaders together. But one thing we share together, we are former CU leaders. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi in Kenyatta and myself in Nairobi, and uh, very much respected in the focus circles and the Christian Union. So I'm very happy to be here. Uh, Chairman uh, Transport Committee, Honorable George Kariuki, uh, Vice Chair of uh, the Transport Committee, was supposed to be here. And I don't. I don't think he's here. The Member of Parliament of this constituency, my friend, uh, Honorable Peter. Opondo Kaluma, who, I, who was actually leaving school when I joined. But uh, the behavior and the demeanor and his closeness to uh, P.O. Lolumumba that time, I did not know whether he was a student or a lecturer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honorable members, uh, of my friends who are here, uh, Dr. Gogo and my friend Karoli Omondi, and then uh, Honorable, um, the chair, the CEO of uh, Kenya, Managing Director of Kenya Airports Authority, Mr. Alex Gitari, our, our uh, Renegade Air CEO, Ismail Yakub, and the team from Renegade, the national government staff who are here, uh, led by the county commissioner, uh, region, uh, I mean county commissioner, and the also county government CCs and county assembly, led by the majority leader, who is truly a majority leader in appearance. Um, all the uh, guests who are present, Jodala Onje, Irionade, Amosi, Mkozalama, Chamge. Very good. I am really very happy to be here. And um, I truly, and I've told this to uh, Governor Wanga before, I truly love Homa Bay. Uh, I, I really love Homa Bay. It's, uh, I wish I would call Homa Bay my second home. And I've told the governor to organize to make sure that this is my second home. There's still a chance to do so. Um, and I'm very happy to be here. I'd like to take this opportunity to start by congratulating the Renegade Air for beginning this new route of Nairobi Homa Bay. And uh, the decision to launch flights from Wilson to Kabunde Airstrip is an eloquent testimony of confidence that your airline has not only in Kenya's aviation industry, but also in Kenya's economy as a whole. This is yet another milestone for the transport sector which aims to promote connectivity across the country by supporting improved connectivity and trade facilitation. Uh, this event resonates well with the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. The agenda emphasizes on increased employment, equitable income distribution, social security, and expanded tax revenue. The aviation industry is important to Kenya's growth, contributing about 5% to the country's GDP. The transformation in travel and trade that will be witnessed in Homa Bay County and the surrounding regions due to the introduction of this flight will be immense. If effects will be immediately felt in the tourism industry. The aviation industry is a catalyst to other sectors such as manufacturing, agriculture, and cargo, which contribute millions of shillings to Kenya economy. I want to urge all the residents of Oma Bay and surrounding counties to strategize on how to maximize the use of Kabunde Airstrip and exploit the advantage connectivity to Kenya's capital and business hub uh, that, uh, uh, entails. Indeed, uh, Madam Governor, uh, apart from just congratulating Renegade Air, I want to recognize your commitment, hard work, your passion, your desire to ensure that this part of the world is opened up. And you have been very consistent on this. I know we should have been here a few months ago, and then there was an itch, but you never gave up. Uh, the governor was always on call, calling me, if it's not her, it's using our CECs, some of whom we worked before. 
uh, I want to disclose, uh, Governor, that uh, uh, Rosa has been misusing our older friendships uh, to harass me <laughs> on Kabude. <laughs> And I want to say that uh, this has been really uh, encouraging to me. And as a CS in this ministry, if this is the kind of relationship that we have from national and the county governments, then we'll be able to, to move forward. This was the case for Kakamega. As soon as I came to office, Kakamega pushed us. Now they have a route from Nairobi to Kakamega. And we have now this route from Nairobi to Homer Bay, which is very amazing because instead of taking at least six hours, six hours flying to Kisumu. You know, you fly to Kisumu and then the road four hours and so, so you're almost like five to six hours on the uh, coming here. But if you drive, you're probably going to take eight hours or so. You are now going to take only 45 minutes to be at the headquarters of Homer Bay County. This is, this is tremendous. In fact, gone are the days that... Uh, that air travel was synonymous to uh, expensive life. In fact, the CEO of Renegade Air told me that at most, if you book your ticket as early as possible, you will fly to Omabe with 9,000 shillings. If you drive from Nairobi with your car up to here, you will fast fuel 15,000. Yes. You are not talking about now uh, anything to do with uh, the food you will eat on the way, you know, the time you will waste. To calculate uh, driving coming by road to here, it will take you uh, a long period of time if you come with your car. But if you fly, you only pay 9,000 and you are here in Homer Bay. So this is amazing. This is, apart from just saving uh, resources for uh, 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 people, it's also going to be able to shorten time and you save a lot of time. And you know money is a lot of time. And therefore your governor has done exceptionally well. My, friend, uh, uh, my friends who are the MPs here, particularly Peter Kaloma, who we used to play football together, thank you very much. I am su surprised, actually. Not very many counties uh, where the MPs work well with the, with the governor. So I'm still doing research whether it is the governor who is good or you are the one who is good. <laughs> but uh, I will conclude that all of you are good. Yeah, I am happy that you transisted your friendships from Bunge to supporting the governor when she came here. And this is the only way we can be able to realize greater development. And I thank you, governor, for being accommodative to divergent views and leaders, because then this is how we are going to build our county. Thank you, Peter, for pushing us. Um, I will forgive you for the, for the goals you allowed Tanzania to score us in Arusha uh, as our right uh, wing defender, because uh, uh, we have been uh, good friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't want to disclose close it was how many goals, but as your captain, I think we did very well. The aviation industry is important to Kenya's growth to contributing about 5% to the country's GDP. The transformation in travel and trade that will be witnessed in Homer Bay, as I said, is going to be uh, tremendous. I wish to reiterate the government's commitment to improving aviation infrastructure in Kenya. The recently concluded infrastructure upgrade of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport Moi International Airport in Mombasa, the completed works of Migori, Kakamega, Kitale Airstrips, the ongoing works in Manda, Lamu, Wajia, Nanyuki, Lanet, and other airstrips attest to this commitment. Other major work, works are planned for Diani, Malindi Airports, and uh, terminals in Kitale and Migori Airstrips. At Kabunde here, we are undertaking the following. We want to try to make sure that Kabunde in Kabunde, there is the rerouting of the section of the Homer Bay Rodi, Rodi Kapani Road being carried out, out, to be carried out by Kenya National Highway Authority, which will allow us to extend the current runway by one, uh, from 1 1.2 kilometers to 1.65 kilometers. For those of us to understand what's happening here, if you see the road, you can see from there, we need a longer runway so that then bigger plans can come here and becomes truly international. And to do so, we all have to agree as a local community here, working with us, and I'm ready to work out to look for the resources so that we can move the road away from here to give us room to extend the runway to where the road is. 
So that is uh, immediately, I have instructed Kenna to work on the designs immediately, and I urge you to support us as local community to have the space and the land to do so. When we landed, and uh, I don't know, CEO is here, when we landed, I, I thought it was a bit, uh, a, a more rough uh, landing. Uh, I want to come next time a bit smooth. So we want the runway to be longer, and we need to do it faster because it's something about safety. So I think we, we need to ensure that that is done. Uh, that, of course, goes with the rehabilitation and the extension of the runway, which will involve an extension of the 450 meters to the 1.65, and the runway width from 23 meters to 30 meters to accommodate larger aircraft with, with higher payloads. This will also include a new apron and a two, uh, a, a two taxiways. But the most urgent and most important is, as I said, is to do the runway. The third issue we want to do is to ensure that, uh, as I said, when the president launched uh, the flight to Kakamega, uh, he announced that and instructed us to make sure that the landing and the parking charges for the airport in Kagameka are waived for now. We are doing the same. Uh, I have already instructed KAA to make sure that the landing and parking charges in Kabunde airstrip are waived to encourage more uh, aeroplanes to fly to come here so that we can be able to accommodate a, a greater traffic. Where the construction of a passenger terminal building an office block Will, uh, uh, which will also involve the construction of permanent passenger terminal building office, offices, car park, electrical, and mechanical works. Our priority as a ministry is to ensure that um, there is optimal investment in the country's transportation, transport system to maintain Kenya's priced position as a hub for the East and Central Africa region. This will definitely lead to reduction in transport cost and open up new frontiers for economic development. As a matter of fact, uh, my friend Governor, we want to build a new terminal in Nairobi in JKIA, and to do so we want to use a PPP model, and the resources we are going to raise from the PPP model will help us to make sure that we develop inland, and Kabunde will be one of the beneficiaries of extended development in this area. And uh, I want to add here, uh, Governor, that already as a ministry, as soon as I came to office, the president instructed us to look at all the taxes that are affecting the aviation sector. And these taxes include uh, VAT on spare parts, uh, VATs on aircraft imports, uh, uh, VAT on, uh, on uh, uh, some other charges related to the uh, air sector. I want to confirm, and Honorable Kaluma, you will confirm that, in the current budget, we have proposed a reduction and removal of some of the taxes on the air transport. And so the budget that is in Parliament and the bill that you had as finance bill that is being debated, uh, that bill has benefits in the air sector. And I urge my friends who are in Parliament to make sure they safeguard those provisions to ensure that we spur our air transport uh, to make sure that there is a greater growth. And... Uh, let me just veer off from the subject that we've came to do here to confirm also that thank you very much to confirm also that as a ministry I am also in charge of the roads and uh, when the president came here recently he made certain pronouncement concerning a number of roads in this county I want to confirm madam governor I know you are pushing me to put it on record so that you can use it to <laughs> to to, to to judge me in future, I am going to confirm now here that uh, the road that is uh, Kodel, Alara, Apala, and uh, Kanyadiong Road, which is 67 kilometers, uh, is 35 percent complete. We are working on paying the contractor so that they'll be on site in the next one month. The, the road of uh, Mbita, Sindo, Kiabuya Road, which is... Uh, uh, 74 kilometers is only 7% complete. The contractor, I have already had a con conversation with the contractor in the next five days, they should be able to come on site. And the road we are going to see now, which is uh, number, eh, number? Uh, number Karabok, Adiedo Road, which is 18 kilometers, 
is the same contractor with the other road, and he should be able to come here within the next seven days. Uh, Madam Governor, also I know uh, uh, you people are aware about uh, Tenyabura Junction Road, uh, Boke to Rangwe, uh, which uh, the, 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 the MP here has been harassing me. Uh, that road, uh, we are going to make sure that the contractor again within two weeks is, is back to site. I know that it is dear to you that Marindi, Magina, Pala Road. Yeah? I know, I know why the governor had to say this. Uh, it's because he knows I am a, a, a supporter, number one, of uh, Gormaya. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, Kogalo, I can see our team is here. And uh, I have been a supporter of Gormaya for the last, since I was, that is 1997 up to now. And, uh, and uh, it is known, it is, uh, so if, if it takes me to make sure that we permanently ensure that the Gormaya Road, yeah, is going to be remembered as a well tarmacked road, I want to uh, assure you, Governor, I have already instructed the carer to start the designs for that road. You all know the challenges we have, but I will do everything humanly possible. Uh, we have already discussed with the president, who is also very dear on infrastructure issues, to help us uh, find a way, even if it is through development partners, to make sure that we're able to do that road. And we should start step by step so that in the next five years or so, we should have completed that road uh, to become a complete road. The other roads we are undertaking here, my friend has uh, talked about the Homer Bay Town roads, uh, Peter. Uh, the one you requested, plus the ones that are ongoing, which is about 7.11 kilometers, I will ensure that those are completed also in this area. We know contractor was not been, had not been paid. Again, in this program that we are trying to negotiate with the contractors, paying them something small to bring them to site, I'll make sure that that is, that is part of the uh, direction that is, is done. In the Kenna, uh, all the Isbanya, Kisi, Ahero Road, uh, Spa Roads, Feeder Roads, which is in Migori, Homa Bay, Kisi, we are also working hard to make sure that these are completed because at least these are fairly funded road uh, through the African Development Bank. The last thing I'd like to say is that you talked about the peers. Uh, 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 yes, exactly. Um, you know, Madam Governor, we already gave out the contract for the Fangano. Uh, uh, ring roads and Rusinga ring roads. Yeah, I am coming. Uh, we are coming back here in less than a month to launch the roads. But uh, Governor, before that, you must find me land there before that one month. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say other things because my wife might be watching. <laughs> you know, so. Make sure that uh, uh, you prepare me well so that I can come in the next one month. We make sure that we launch uh, that, that those two roads. Already we have done procurement processes. We are in the last stage. We have awarded a contractor and we will come to launch the road to make sure that um, Fangana and Rusing Islands are very beautiful. We want Homer Bay to be the top tourist destination in the country. You know, we don't, we don't want somebody to come to Masai Mara and then go back. Yeah. They must come to Masai Mara and when they finish, they say, I cannot leave before going to Oma Bay. Because this place is truly beautiful. And I hope I can get time to spend possibly this Christmas with my family in this uh, very beautiful county. Because I, 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 really, I really love uh, uh, Oma Bay. We are working together. We are working together. I know uh, some people are looking at us uh, I saw some of our pictures that were shared in the morning. And people were asking, can, can Wanga work with Murko, man? What is going on? <laughs> yeah? Uh, many of you do not know that uh, those of us who are here understand two things. It is one thing to... You know, Nini, Raya, Mko, Namane, Napigia mutu makofi tu, akisema story, story, story. Lakini uchakusi kikaribia. Watu wanataka maendeleo. So sisi kwa upande huu, sisi kwa upande huu, bila kujali chama, lazima tuakikishe kwanza uko na kitu ya kupelekea raya. 
Naambia ndio hii barabara, ndio hii uh, tuko na ferry hapa, ndio hii tuko na uh, tumejenga uh, airport, tume extend airport. Hata mimi kama kijana sitaki nikwende nikizeeka namna ile wanasema huyo mtu tu alikuwa anapika kingereza kwa wizara. Na inafaa nikirudi hapa nasema nilikuja hapa nikasema tuongeze runway tumeongeza na hii imekuwa an international airport. So we have to work together. Sisi Ajali she, she is elected in uh, in ODM I was elected. In any case mimi nilikuwa mtu ya mkono ya baba. <laughs> yeah na na Karoli hapa ndio alikuwa anamwambia ako ako ofisi leo anasema yeye anamwambia fungulia mimi fungulia mimi. <laughs> And uh, so there is no reason why as leaders we should not be able to work together you know in fact let me say this ukiona ile mapendekezo mingi ile iko kwa bill yetu ya finance kwanza hiyo ya housing hii imeona hata clips ya baba hiyo pendekezo i think ni william ruto alichukua kutoka baba <laughs> you know and so the the manifesto ya odm na manifesto ya uda kwa mambo ya house ni the same 100% the same hata percentage ni the same you know ni ile tu sasa mmoja aliingia mwingine aku ataingia baadaye <laughs> so so hata baba akiongea akimaliza akijiendea nyumbani anasema yeye hii mtu aliiva ile yangu ndio ana anapitisha ana So kwa sababu we, we generally have as a country similar policies our political parties have very close policies mimi naomba kama wabunge tuko bunge let's close ranks together sisi viongozi wenye tuko hapa tuna implement let's close ranks together in fact i do not see the reason why uh, baba na president ruto should not be consulting more kwa sababu william ruto alikuwa kwa academy ya railo dinga Sio ni ukweli. Yeah, so and you know, mimi nimewahi kuwa lecturer. The dream of every teacher is to have Si ni ukweli? anajitolea so that we usually say if you see me standing tall if you see william ruto standing tall he's because he's standing on a shoulder of a giant called raila odinga <laughs> so there must be a way of closing rank and i think because baba has done so well in many of us including me and others he should i'm sure akienda hata nyumba yake kai vanza ile ni kijana yangu nilimfunza ameshika laini huyu william ruto alikuwa ananizunguka mtu wa mkono yangu amefika mahali kidogo tu ni vile hii policy nyinyi mnasukuma sisi kama wananchi kidogo otherwise ungekuwa tumekubaliana kitambo so i think we should find a way of closing ranks together kwa sababu let me tell you guys kwa sababu sisi tunakaa kwa cabinet inji yetu iko na challenges tumetokea njaa tumetoka mambo ya finance ile unaona watu wa airline wanasema tuko na shida ya eh, exchange rate tuko na shida ya importation ya food tuko na shida ya nini kwa dunia There is no way as a country we can succeed to build our nation if we are fighting each other. We must find a way. Hiyo kitu yenye baba anataka kumwambia Ruto wakubaliane wakutane mahali. Mimi naweza panga ni wapi? Alafu tuongee. Si namna hiyo jameni? Alafu hii maasla watu wa kawaida wapate nini? Kazi. Because ukiona watoto wetu au wadogo hawa tukiendelea na mchezo ya kisiasa sisi hatutaweza kujenga nchi yetu we must find a way of making sure we build our nation mimi glad is i want to tell you this wewe uende maandamano ama uziende nitashikana na wewe kuhakikisha hapa imejengwa mmekubali namna hiyo mimi siwezi kuwaja kazi yangu ati ati niseme oh kwa sababu oh fulani niliona alikuwa na nini barabara au nini ati nisifanye maendeleo ama be na kesho na kesho kesho nikiulizwa maswali nitajibu nini mimi nitahakikisha kwamba katika wizara hii rais William Ruto na serikali yake haijaibishwa na mimi pia kama kijana nimejenga jina kidogo kuonekana kwamba nimetia BD Homa Bay iweze ikasonga mbele Sina namna hiyo nawapenda sana watu wa Homa Bay eh nawapenda sana
Na wapenda sana sana. Hata naenda tu na nirudi haraka. Na next time niambie nisikujange na tai. Unajua hapa sio mahali ya kuja na tai. Unakuja na kala kama ule jamali kwa hapa. Una relax. Kwa hapa kwa sababu ni mahali inasema ni homa bei dala. Zinamna hiyo? Mungu wabariki asanteni sana.